YouTube, Captain Fox here, back again with another video. And today, I ain't being regular me today, all right? I got something for y'all. Yeah, y'all gonna be seeing the nerdy side of me today, all right? I'm gonna be looking like a science teacher in class, all right? Today, we back with some more Crypt TV. Sunny Family Call, episode two. Let's get it, dog. I'm excited. What? <laughs> and we got some snacks, some Reese's. You know what I'm saying? We got some snacks with some green TV. It's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> it's like, I'm kidding, bro. I just want these snacks, though. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to this video, y'all. I'm ready. I'm just... I'm... Ooh, with these glasses, I can see better. Come on. With these glasses, I can see this screen more better. Hold up. <laughs> Yo, hold up. Hold up. Let's turn it up, all right? Nobody better not say how cringy I look with these things on, bro. How can we not know? That's not how this works. Figure it out. Why can't I go? Taylor, you're too young. I already know everything, though. There's a difference between knowing about something and actually participating in it. I understand that. I just think it's stupid. Yeah, me too. I gotta see these like way up close, way better. This entire situation is just sad. Now someone else is pretending to be us. I look cringy with these glasses on. I noticed that, but what is she talking about? This whole situation is sad. Somebody's pretending to be us, <laughs> right? Duh. I don't know how my grandma can see with these things. <laughs> I can see perfectly through these things. It's just that everything's so up close, you know? She's not wrong. She's 12. She's already seen everything. She knows everything. At this point, what's the difference? She's just a child, Eli. She's already rationalizing things at the same level we are. We might as well involve her. This isn't a debate. These people pretending to be us, they killed a child. We can't just use her. Don't, don't you get how wrong that is? I'm sorry, mister. I got locked out of my house and my parents aren't home and I just really need to use a phone to call them. Can I come in? I kid you not, I did not trust people like that. Thanks. Buddy, I don't care if you're 16, all right? I ain't letting you in my house. I don't know what intentions you got in store for me. I know you ain't telling me a lie, like, come on, dude. I've seen all that mess in horror movies before, and I don't fall for that stuff that easy. Like, you gotta try harder, like, come on. Is my man saying that he killed her? Like, they're gonna be in trouble. Well, the 
cops don't even know who it is. Are we dealing with a cannibal now? Like... Already, I'm done. Oh, what? They say imitation is the highest form of flattery. But copycats are different. They're cowards. <laughs> and plus, you got it all wrong. We don't kill children. This is gonna be bad. She's in trouble. I'm gonna tell you this one time and you are gonna listen. You don't ever, ever do that again. This whole thing, everything that we have and are, it's me. You don't change the plan. You don't say a word unless I tell you to. So what happens if y'all and the mother die? D does she take over? Like... This next one we're watching is called Shelly, episode what? <laughs> no, season one, episode, ep what? <laughs> I can't speak today. Episode one. And, you know, let's get into it, yeah. I'm eating, bro. <laughs> I'm eating, bro. <laughs> Dude, come on. She's dead, man. Can you believe it's been 20 years? It smells the same. Oh my God, it literally does. <laughs> You're really embracing the whole nostalgia thing. I, I thought you'd be wearing yours. You, you said we should wear them in your email. What email? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome. It's really what? Many faces here. No, no, no. She's lost. We're not about to pass up on her. What does she mean by email? Did somebody get a hold of her phone or something? Like, what is she talking about? I heard she was in rehab for self-heart. Sharing stories and picking up where we left off. Woo! Go Blobby! So isn't it true a kid committed suicide here or something? Yeah. Shelley Carter. She was a... Is, is that what we just saw? Hockey scholarship student. She hung herself on her graduation day, <laughs> which was nice of her. I need to go to the bathroom. Hold up. What did that one girl say? What, that was nice of her? Man, these people these days are sick, man, I swear. That's a lie, it's not out of order. Bet you the bottom dollar it ain't. She is Simon Shelley. Do you say anything? Did you ever talk? In my day again? Did you ever speak? What are methods of bullying these days? Mm-mm. 
<clears throat> no. This is why I'm afraid of bathroom stalls now. Like, legit. I swear to you. Corey also talked about something about him having a fear of the bathroom stall. Well, not a bathroom stall, but like, at the at a urine. I have a fear of a bathroom stall. Like, just, like, my fear of being in a bathroom stall is just being in a bathroom stall and somebody's just looking up under there and just watching you pee. So, with somebody with a creepy face that's just looking under, I mean, like, above you or something like that, I hate that thought. Like, I don't do public bathrooms like that no more. Hello? Like, I get paranoid, I kid you not. I'll be checking all around, like, dude. I'll be like, is anybody in here? Like, dude. I'll start checking all their stalls. Like, bro, I'm telling you, man. That's no joke, though, like. Do you got a knife? Like, dude. I'm telling you, man, when I go out in public, I got something with me. Oh, heck no. This sucker shell, we got something. What is that? Is that a hockey goal? I said, is that a hockey goal? Ugh. ripped off her whole jaw with that thing, bro. She went under like a... Oh, heck no, nah, man. Anyways, y'all, this is a creepypasta called Shelly versus Kulu's whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Can you read? <laughs> Let's get into it. From his booth, the announcer gazed down into the darkened arena. The crowd jostled and jeered around the cage in which a lone woman lay on her side in a drug-induced sleep. Slowly, opened her eyes. As she looked around, fear bloomed in her face. Grinning, the announcer gripped his mic and crooned into it. Welcome to fight night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Before we get to the main great. event, please remember that flash photography is not allowed in the arena. Anyone caught filming the fight will have their phone confiscated and their entrails removed through their nostrils. And don't forget to purchase a refreshing beverage from the concession stand. <laughs> and now it's time to welcome all you monster fanatics to another rousing... I'm telling you, man, why am I still eating? ...evening of bloodshed and mayhem. <laughs> In all the nights I've had the privilege of being ringside commentator, I've never been more excited for a fight. Tonight's gonna be a good one, folks. Fair warning to the first few rows of you. You will get wet. <laughs> in the left corner, huddled in fear, I present... So we about to pee our pants? <laughs> like, bruh. And for your perverse pleasure, the pile of human filth you see before you, Mary. The crowd booed loudly. Mary got up to her feet just in time to dodge a half-empty can of beer. It clattered at her feet and rolled off into the darkened side of the stage. Please! Mary begged the faces pressing in around her. You've got to get me out of here before dark. I, I'm not safe. Up above, the announcer laughed into the mic and said, Mary let her high school friend die during the school play, if you can believe it. She watched backstage as her fellow student hung herself, and Mary did nothing to save her. The announcer grinned as he saw a look of guilt flash across Mary's face. It wasn't my fault. I literally got my mouth agape because, like, legit. Dude, he said something that she watched her classmate die and didn't do anything about it. Really? 
really. And then it had me thinking about the Shelly. Like, why did that remind me back to Shelly, though? Like, said something about a student class member that died. Is she that girl who just lost her jaw just now? Like, like, dude. She screamed up at him, but the crowd just cheered louder. Something moved in the shadows at the other end of the cage. Something big. Its footsteps shook the ground. The announcer's fingers waggled over the light switches on the booth's control panel. The crowd was seething with energy. He could only let them dangle in sweet suspense for a moment longer. On to our main attraction, he said. In the far corner, our reigning champion of carnage, the yellow-eyed Cyclops, the punisher of the wicked, weighing in at 500 pounds of pure murderous metal. The ground literally shakes beneath his feet. You know his name, folks. Let me hear it. Together in one booming my voice. God, my God, my thingo. Colossus. The announcer. Colossus, that's his name. Stadium of light. When Mary saw the thing across from her, she let out a blood curdling scream. It glared with its one hateful yellow eye. Light glinted off both its horn and the polished teeth of its chainsaw arm. There was a strange collar wrapped around its neck. Rather than attack, Colossus turned and began shaking the cage. Come on, big guy! Will you never learn? The announcer chuckled, holding up a remote control. Let's give him a little shock incentive, shall we? He pressed the button and purple electricity crackled around the creature's collar. Turning toward Mary, Colossus prepared to charge. The chainsaw gave a horrible metal whine. Let me out! Mary screamed, but the crowd only laughed. Then something else cut through the noise. The wet, slicing sounds of a blade cutting through flesh. Screams, not of joy, but of pain, rose up from the crowd. With a spray of blood, a man on the other side of the cage was cut in half. Behind him stood another monster. She was gripping her bloody field hockey stick and smiling savagely beneath her crop of orange hair. Mary turned and saw the ghoulish face of the new monster standing before her. Through numb lips, she muttered her name. Shelly! Up in the commentator's booth, the announcer spat angrily into the microphone. This is highly irregular! That's a violation! Colossus! Cut that orange-haired brat down! Now! With a screech of tearing metal, Shelly peeled back a section of the cage like I'm it was on cardboard and stepped into the ring. The announcer pressed the remote again and zapped Colossus. With a huge howl of rage, he jabbed his chainsaw at Shelly. Moving quickly, Bleh. she it with her stick. Dude, Sparks flew we, got, we got a whole fight right now. His teeth grated against Shelly's hockey stick, pushing the saw aside. Shelly launched herself at Colossus, stabbing him between his metal teeth. <laughs> you said jabbing what? <laughs> Black blood splattered on the mat, roaring with pain. Colossus curled his only hand into a fist and slammed it into Shelly's chin. The blow Ooh. sent her flying back into the cage. She crumpled to the ground. As Colossus stomped over toward Shelly, Mary picked herself up and ran toward the hole and tumbled out. When she got up, a man and woman, faces lined with the slashed pink of flesh scar tissue, Bleh. stood above her. The man held another one of the electric collars, like the one around Colossus' neck. They stepped past her and into the cage where Colossus was stomping over to the slumped body of Shelly. Wrapping its meaty hand around her neck, he lifted her up into the air, his yellow eyes shimmering like a hellish star. He raised his saw, aiming to split Shelly's skull. But in a move almost too quick to see, Shelly brought her hockey stick up in a whirling arc. There was another spray of obsidian arrows oh! howl from Colossus. Shelly landed lithely on her feet. Colossus' severed arm landed next to her. The fingers twitched convulsively for a few seconds and then it lay still. Colossus fell to his knees, his eye flickering on and off. Shelly gave an evil smile, her braces glinting in the spotlight. She leapt onto Colossus' chest, raising her hockey stick. She pointed the bloody edge towards his neck in a decapitating move. The announcer sputtered furiously into the mic. That's property of Fight Night! Get a collar on her! Running across the mat, 
The man and woman snapped a collar around Shelly's Wow! Neck. With a growl of anger, she whirled at him, trying to yank the collar free. But she couldn't. Shelly got up to her feet. Dang, get messed up. towards the two lackeys. Grinning savagely, the announcer said, Not so fast! You belong to fight night now. With another press of the remote, purple electricity rammed through Shelly's body. Dang, man! collapsed next to Colossus. Above it all, the announcer smiled. Then his eyes narrowing, he scanned the arena. Women contested! <laughs> Where? Mary was gone. For a moment, the announcer frowned. Then a sinister smile spread across his face. Oh no! Very clever, Mary! Seems you've brought yourself a reprieve! <laughs> he laughed. But it won't be long! Fight Night always takes the time to plant a tracker on our human tributes, just in case a situation such as this arises. It's only a matter of time before our dear friend Mary is back in the ring. <laughs> As Shelly and Colossus were dragged off the mat, the announcer turned off his mic, and then the lights faded until there was only darkness. Wait, what? Crip TV is the bomb. Cut that up, y'all. Clap! Yeah, what y'all doing? Dude, that was lit. <laughs> I just got my butt to y'all. Dude, what? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna end it there, y'all. Hope y'all love this video. Hope y'all like, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's go! <laughs> Dude, I hope y'all like, subscribe, hit the bell. Hope you. What? God bless. We ended this video. <laughs> it's getting too long. <laughs>